Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the elimination reaction between haloalkanes and hydroxide ions. And this is for the AQA and Edexcel specs only. If you're following the AQA spec, then you should be able to describe the mechanism for this reaction. In a previous video we looked at the hydrolysis of haloalkanes. We saw that if we warm haloalkanes with aqueous hydroxide ions, then the haloalkane forms an alcohol. In this reaction, the aqueous hydroxide ions act as a nucleophile, and this is an example of nucleophilic substitution. Now we can also carry out a different type of reaction using hydroxide ions, and I'm showing that reaction here. In this case, we're reacting a haloalkane with potassium hydroxide dissolved in ethanol. I should point out that sodium hydroxide dissolved in ethanol can also be used. The reaction is heated under reflux. Now a key fact is that there is no water present in the reactants. In the absence of water, the hydroxide ion acts as a base, and a hydrogen and bromine are eliminated from the haloalkane. So this is an example of an elimination reaction. Notice that the hydrogen and bromine must be on adjacent carbon atoms. They cannot be bonded to the same carbon atom. So in fact we could have removed any one of the hydrogens I'm showing here. Our products are an alkene, in this case propene, as well as potassium bromide and water. Ok, now if you're following the AQA spec, then you need to be able to describe the mechanism for this reaction. I'm showing you here 2-bromopropane and the hydroxide ion. In the first stage, a lone pair of electrons on the oxygen atom forms a covalent bond to a hydrogen in the haloalkane. Now hydrogen can have a maximum of one bond, so the electron pair between the hydrogen and carbon move down between the two carbon atoms. This electron pair will form part of the double bond in the alkene. Remember that carbon atoms can have a maximum of four bonds, so the electron pair between the carbon and bromine atom move on to the bromine. This is heterolytic fission, and this produces the bromide ion, which is the leaving group. The bromide ion and potassium ion form potassium bromide. At the end, we have our product alkene, a water molecule, and potassium bromide. Now, a key idea you need to understand is that in this reaction, the hydroxide ion is acting as a base. Remember, at the start of the mechanism, the hydroxide ion forms a covalent bond to a hydrogen in the haloalkane and at the same time, the electron pair between the carbon and hydrogen move down. What this means is that the hydroxide is actually removing a hydrogen ion from the haloalkane. A hydrogen ion is H+, in other words a proton. So because the hydroxide ion is accepting a proton, it's acting as a base. Ok, so hopefully now you can describe the elimination reaction between haloalkanes and hydroxide ions.